Good morning everyone. This is Swapna. Welcome to Radio. Today is our topic is Issues in Relation Tree Learning Algorithm. Within that, we are starting with the third issue. The first two issues are completed in previous video. So this is the part two. Issues in Relation Tree Learning. This is the part two. And we are continuing with the third issue. What is the third issue means? Alternative measures for selecting attributes. So, in IDE 3 algorithm, in decision tree, generally to select the attribute, to construct the tree, we are using the statistical property of information game. But uh, selecting few properties with this information game, will, again, will give you very poor prediction over unseen instances. For example, for this case, if there is any data attribute in the task, to construct the decision tree learning, uh, if you are taking the data attribute information gain, it is having the more information gain that we can take in as a rooted root for the decision tree. By that, we will get the depth one level classification of the decision tree we will get and we will get the classification perfectly. But unseen instances when you are applying to predict that one, then you will get the very poor performance. To avoid that, what are the alternate measures are there to select the attributes? So, to avoid this difficulty is to select the decision attributes based upon the sum measures rather than the information gain. Uh, one alternative measure that has been used successfully is the gain ratio. The gain ratio measures the penalizes attributes such as date by incorporating a term called the split information. That is sensitive to, to sensitive to how broadly and uniformly the attribute splits the data. So, like for the example, we took the date attribute to replace that one, and we are considering here one more measure is gain, gain ratio. This is used. This is we can calculate by the split information. So. Next formula. So, to get that gain ratio, we are first calculating the split information. Split information formula is given here. I am showing to you with the most pointer SA and summation of SI by SA log to SI by SA. What is SI? Whereas SI through SA is, uh, are the C subset of examples resulting from partitioning S and C valued attribute. But particular attribute was moved value possible value what are the subset of examples are resulting that are represented with the si and the gain ratio measure what we are uh, taking to select the one particular attribute instead of uh, information gain we are taking the gain ratio by by after the calculation of split for information we can calculate the gain ratio it is also defined in the terms of uh, gain measure so here it is showing that with this formula Gain S comma A by split information S comma A. Gain S comma A means whatever the information, statistical property we used previously for every attribute selection. First calculate the information gain. After that split information of S comma A. Same thing. Gain S A, split information S comma A. These are the subset of examples which are satisfying the possible value of attribute. Here capital A is attribute, here it is a small, small S, uh, SI or small S, we can say collection of or subset of examples which satisfies the possible value of attribute. Here also, here also. By these two, we can calculate the gain ratio or S comma A. This split information term discourages the selection of attributes with many uniformly distributed Values. If the attributes A and B produce the same information gain, then clearly we will score the higher according to the gain ratio measure. If any two attributes are producing the same information gain, same information gain, uh, definitely we will get the gain ratio more like that. Fourth step, our fourth, uh, sorry, fourth issue in decision tree learning is handling the training examples with missing attributes. Handling the training examples with missing attribute, uh, missing attribute values. Missing attribute values means if there are, if there are not specified in the instances any attribute possible value, we are missing that one. 
if we are taking uh, we are taking the some set of uh, our collection of instances to train that to train the machine to perform the task or to give the classification generally we are using decision tree learning for the classification purpose only so to get that classification whatever the instances we are giving to train that machine uh, if some attributes are missing some attribute values are missing so how can we handle that one here also consider the situation in which gain information gain for this uh, set of uh, instances with the attribute values uh, satisfaction calculated at the node n in the decision tree to evaluate whether the attribute is best attribute or not we are calculating the information gain and it is uh, represented with that instance is particular instant name and target concept value for that to training examples given we are cal we are uh, specify uh, we are taking per information gain for every attribute possible value and uh, one attribute possible value is beta z then one strategy for dealing this missing attribute value is to assign the value is most common among the training examples what is the most common possible value within these instances for that particular attribute that we are assigning as the attribute value which is missed one uh, there we are assigning most common value at uh, that node and we are continuing with the construction of decision tree this is one type of strategy to handle the training examples with missing attributes this strategy is examined by the mingers mingers in 1989 this strategy is examined by the mingers and in 1989 next second approach is more complex procedure to assign a probability to which the possible values of attribute a rather than simply assigning the most common value instead of assigning the most common value here checks the probability of the possible values probability of the possible values that means frequency of the possible values for that particular attribute in that collection of set of instances within that training data for that particular attribute what are the possible values frequently frequently are they specified depending upon that that we possible value we are assigning to that missing attribute so these probabilities can be estimated again based on the observed frequencies of the various values of a particular attribute among the examples at that node so this is the second second approach to handle that training examples with missing attribute values next one is the last issue handling the attributes with differing tasks handling the attributes with differing tasks ide3 can be modified to take into account attribute tasks by introducing a cast term into the attribute selection measure by introducing the cast term to select the attribute here it is uh, uh, including or introducing one cast term for example we might divide the gain gain by the cast of the attribute so that we get the lower cast attributes so to select a node with the information gain we will get the more information about the training examples once again we are introducing the one more thing cast for that attribute if it is uh, uh, introducing that one and we are calculating the cast of that particular particular attribute if it is finding if it is finding the lower cast attribute that we are selecting as a best attribute to, to that per, to that uh, node position that we are considering this is the one type of approach we can say and some other applications are there which are cast sensitive for that it is okay and some other applications are there where the cast is not cast is measured in terms of seconds in terms of the time given to that one given to that particular mission so cast is depending upon the whatever the resources that is using it may be the time or it may be the capability it may be the cap computation power uh, it may be the distance like that depending upon that spending of the resources if there is any other applications where uh, time the number of seconds depends uh, the number of seconds usage is depends on the cost then then we are replacing that we are replacing that if it is seconds increases using that one that increases so depending upon that seconds that we are considering as a here cost attribute not your particular uh, whatever uh, 
currency we are we are not considering here as a cost here we are considering the number of seconds we are using uh, to complete that work to complete that one task so that we are considering as a cost here so how we are calculating that one how we are calculating gain with the cost is like this gain square is comma a and cost of that particular attribute uh, here Yeah. Newnage, nineteen eighty eight. He describes the related approach to its application to learning the medical diagnosis rules. Example purpose: We are taking the medical diagnosis. Here, the attributes are different symptoms and laboratory test with different tasks. His system uses the somewhat different attribute selection method by using this formula. So, whatever the formula we shown here is gain square is comma y and cast. That is general form. And depending upon that particular application where we are using, where we are using, depending upon that, it may change little bit. Like this in medical diagnosis. In medical diagnosis, here Nunez in 1908 he used the. This formula to select the particular best update attribute. Here, W is the new term. S is already we know collection of subset of examples. A is attribute. Cast is cast of the attribute. Cast A is cast of the attribute. What is W means? W belongs to zero comma one. It is a constant that determines the relative importance of the cast versus information gain. Cast versus information gain. So. This type of formula also using and depending upon the particular application. So, by this, five issues are completed. Five issues in decision tree learning is completed by this topic. And second part issues in the decision tree learning second part is concluding here by this slide. We'll meet in the next video. Thank you.